COVID-19 has now taken the lives of 10,000 North Carolinians. The staggering milestone comes as cases and hospitalizations are declining, but daily deaths are at their highest levels yet. WCNC Charlotte's Vanessa Rufus explains why it could be longer before we see these numbers come down. Here is a look at North Carolina's daily COVID related deaths. Right now, we are seeing dozens of people dying from the virus every day, with some days giving us triple digit counts. So why are these levels so high when we are seeing cases and hospitalizations trending down? And who are we losing most to the virus? For that answer, we go to North Carolina's Department of Health and Human Services and infectious disease specialist, Dr. David Priest. Right now, the state DHHS dashboard shows the most COVID deaths by far were 65 and older. 60% of deaths came from the 75 plus group and nearly a quarter of deaths were those aged 65 through 74. Health officials say this is why they will not bump anyone ahead of this age group for vaccinations. We want to make sure we are prioritizing those who are 65 and up again because that tracks with our data of who is at the highest risk of death here in North Carolina. Now we've told you daily deaths are at peak levels right now, but for weeks other COVID metrics have been trending back down. Here's Dr. Priest on how that happens. It's because when people are diagnosed with COVID, um, it often, if, if they're going to do poorly, it takes some time. In other words, back in January, we had daily case counts in the 9,000s, 10,000s, and even higher. We might just now be seeing those people passing away. So you can see the natural pro progression of things from a positive test to a hospitalization to death. And it's going to go the other way when the numbers come down. So that means we should see cases decline first, then hospitalizations, then deaths. But for now, we are still waiting for that last trend to happen. And new CDC projections show that North Carolina is poised to lose 2,000 more lives to the virus by the end of the month. A sobering reminder that this pandemic is not done with us yet, and we all need to remain vigilant. Vanessa Rufus, WCNC Charlotte.